Okay, so here's my DIY stir plate. It's made with a, a CD-ROM external case and the usual obligatory um, PC fan you can just see in there and a magnet from a computer a hard drive and it stirs it stirs quite nicely the trouble with these DIY solutions is they don't have any heating and so I thought well what can I do to put heating on it so I picked up one of these repti mats it's a, a mat for <coughs> warming terrariums uh, if you keep reptiles or arachnids and just with tap water and this running at the moment this is now at around about 20 degrees which is nice for yeast and this is specifically what I want to use this for is to to use it to have a bit more temperature control over my yeast starters it has no wires inside it it's a infrared mat and so it doesn't interfere in any way with the with the mag uh, the magnet and its effect on the, the stirrer. Um, it does get warm over time. It has a 50, <coughs> 50 degrees C shut off switch so as it doesn't go over 50 degrees C. I figured well I, I probably need a way to control that so if I'm running a yeast starter for two days or whatever beforehand I need to control the temperature and I thought well the first way that I might be able to do that would be just to use a standard on off switch which uh, switches itself on and off every half hour around the clock or I could use um, a universal uh, thermostat in which um, then I can um, control the uh, temperature but I'm not so sure that this um, can actually, that the, the, the probe on this, uh, which you see here, is actually waterproof. So, luckily, I've got two of these, so I can give one a shot and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I can, uh, I know, know not to use it for uh, this kind of application. But there you go. There's a DIY um, stir plate with heating control and the heat is uh, heat control is quite good cheers hope you enjoyed the video